Okay guys, welcome back. It is the 19th of February. I just want to kind of make a vlog to let my know, let my know, let my family know um, the a little update on my surgery process. So maybe a lot of you might not know. My family knows for sure, but others may not know. So I have an Invisalign in my teeth right now and I am actually missing a tooth. Um, I had, when I was a, when I was smaller, I had a baby tooth that just never fell out because my adult tooth never developed. So I think I had a baby tooth until I was like, what? Your junior year, probably? No. Oh, no, senior year. No. We were already married. I was... Oh, yeah. Right. We got yeah. married at 19. I was probably 20, 21, around there. Um, I think it was around 20, but... Yeah, I got my baby tooth removed because basically they told me you could get it fixed now and your teeth will heal, your mouth will heal faster because you're younger or wait till it falls out. Who knows when it'll fall out because it was very sturdy and then deal with it then. So I decided to get it over with now and finally we are at the end and I just need my tooth implant which we're going to go get right now. I'm extremely nervous but we are excited because this is all we're waiting for so we can start working on having a family. So we are excited, but I'm nervous. Um, like I told Andy, I'm not nervous about um, what they're going to do to me. Procedure. The procedure. I'm not nervous for that. I, it, like I, I'm the type of person that's gonna go and research all this stuff, watch videos on how it's done. Yes. But that to me kind of reassures me that like, I know what's happening, I know what's being done. So to me, it kind of like calms me. But what makes me super nervous is getting put to sleep. That scares the crap out of me. And I've been so nervous about it She's been for a few days now. It. It's like I told her, like, everybody gets put to sleep in surgery, you know, it's a process, and everything comes out fine. Yeah, and then it, it kind of, like, like, scares me more because they give me the paperwork to sign, and the paperwork tells you, like, all the risks of, like, what might happen or all this stuff, and it just makes me more, more nervous. I've had these papers for months now, and I have not signed them, and I'm on my way already. So, yeah, but... <clears throat> I will let you all know um, how I'm doing with recovery and when I'm out, see how everything went. I'm probably going to be all like chip gross, month. but she's going to be a chip month. Yeah. Maybe. Just know that, yes, Andy got the time off to go take me. I know my mom was concerned and my aunts were concerned on who was taking me and how much time I had off, he had off and stuff like that. He is going to be able to go and take me to drive me back. And after that, I think he has to go to work. But I think I will be fine. Because she's going to be asleep. I'm just going to sleep afterwards. So I should be fine. He is going to be able to probably go home and check up on me. Like during his lunch hour and stuff like that. He usually comes home. But yeah, I'm going to be taking a chill the next few days. And I will let you guys know so, how it goes yeah. afterwards. All right. I'll see you guys later. Enjoy it. What? What's up, guys? So we're Iraq. here post-op, you know, and we're actually on post already. So Debbie looks like over here, you know, trying to get her mouth right. Anyways. Sorry, Andy's not a good vlogger. Yeah, I am. What? So, as you can notice, Debbie has this whole bunch of gauze, so, you know, for all the bleeding and stuff. Yeah. I'm not completely out of it. Reason being, I did this freaking surgery without getting put to sleep. She a boss. She is boss level right now. They just did local anesthetic. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And <laughs> if, if y'all don't know, like, what the procedure is, man, look it up. And it you'll be like, how she do it, you know, just being awake. Yeah, they basically, like, cut my my gum open and, like, made a flap. And then they drilled a screw into my bone and put bone graft. So it's like an addition to my bone. And then just stitched it back up. I could feel 
the drilling and the scraping and the pressure. They put a lot of anesthetic, but a lot. <laughs> I got love. Um, they put a lot of anesthetic. She said my body kept like, like, I was waking up from the anesthetic too fast, so she kept applying more and more and more. She said she used double the amount that she would typically use on anybody else. So, yeah. I got a lot of shots in my mouth. Yeah. But so she a little drugged up. Well, was a little drugged up. Yeah. Because it's going away It's already. wearing off already. It's been like 30 minutes afterwards. Yeah. And it's wearing off. I'm not in any pain or anything right now. Not yet. But we're going to go get painkillers and antibiotics just for later. We got to get those good drugs. They're no. just giving me ibuprofen. They don't give good drugs out here. So, yeah. But um, I'll keep you all updated. They told me I can only eat um, soft food for about three days. I'm getting my stitches taken out next week. And recovery is three months. Before I get like the tooth put in. And before I'm allowed to start having babies. Little, little Debbie's and Andy's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're excited for that. So hopefully in three months, we will be good. To go. Okay. Alrighty. We'll see you guys later. Adios. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, just thought that I'd do a little update. It's been 24 hours since I got my implant done, and I'm swollen. My swelling's been going down, but it's still swollen. Still look like a chipmunk. Um. I am in no pain. I have been taking um, ibuprofen still just so that um, it could help with the swelling. But I'm not in pain. I am not having any more bleeding at all. Last night I slept um, pretty comfortably, I guess. But <laughs> well, my back hurt from like being on one side specifically. But like my teeth wise. I was okay. I wasn't in any pain. I woke up and I didn't have any bleeding either. So that's all really good. Um, I am going to go back on Friday just to get um, kind of a checkup on my gums. See how they're healing. Just because over the weekend they're closed. So they do want to do it on Friday right before the weekend. Just to avoid anything. Um, so yeah, just thought that I'd let you guys know. Keep you up updated. I am only eating soups and milkshakes, applesauce, things like that. I can barely open my mouth to put the spoon in. Um, but yeah, thanks to Andy. He's been taking care of me a lot. Um, he's coming. That's right, folks. He's been taking care of me a lot. I wish I could smile, but I really can't. It bothers me. Um, another thing, check this out, guys. So they gave me the drills that they used on my mouth. That's freaking crazy because this red one is super thick. And they put that in my freaking mouth. That's crazy. And I was awake when they did this. So I, I remember feeling like rubbing and the drilling. But it didn't hurt. Um, yeah, at the end they were just like, um, we use different ones for every patient. So you can go ahead and have these. Andy was so excited, guys. He was like, oh, cool. For memories. What the hell do you mean, memories? But, I guess. Um, yeah, I, I'm just going to end this vlog right here. Um, I do plan on maybe picking up the camera another day. Um, maybe after I have my second checkup, just to let you all know how it's going, how it's healing. I still don't have a tooth in. All they did was add bone graft, which helps my bone around the area grow, and um, a screw. They did stitch it up. It's completely closed, and I can still wear my retainer. So I still have my tooth right there. I'm still wearing my retainer. Luckily, because I don't want to walk out of the house without having a tooth, because I feel like everybody just stares at me. But... Yeah, I will let you all know next time how I'm doing. 
how everything's going, what the next steps are, and all of that stuff. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next time.